Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. And today I am looking forward to having some fun here. This is the OptiTech USB microscope, high def photos. This is a really great way to zoom in and take those photos of those certain items that you want to use. Companies with like circuit boards would use a product like this. You might have some jewelry watch. You really want to see the details. This product will allow you to do it. So we're going to go ahead and do an open boxing and I will connect the software to my computer and then we will put it to the test. So let's go ahead and get started. By the way, any questions, anything that you need, Matt, the owner of the product, will be happy to answer those questions for you. He's great. I've been communicating with him and really looking forward to giving him some feedback. So this is the box that it comes in. It's got a little bit of a weight to it. So there at first is we have the CD which I will put on, put in my computer here, instructions and software, open the file, uh, and it also mentions about if you have a Mac, use the photo booth app already installed on your computer. All right, so we got that. And then first let's see what we got in here. So we've got the microscope USB connector in here and it's well protected in there. Nice job. Looks like it's got a, uh, well, we'll take a look, but it's got a button here so you can adjust the brightness of the LED from what I understand. Then, let's see, next part we have here. So, we've got one part here to adjust the height. Got uh, this product here. Not sure what this is quite yet. We'll figure it out. And got a lot of other parts as well that I guess, depending upon what you're looking at, you can use. So we'll have that, and then we've got the base, and then the tool. All right, so let's go ahead and put it together. This is a, an aluminum base, by the way. Feels like a really solid product. I uh, love the, the detail on the product. Really feels like it's well constructed. You've got these rubber bottoms here to keep it from slipping and scratching, and we're gonna go ahead and screw this onto the base. So let me go ahead and do that next. Make sure and get it centered in there, so very good. And probably there, and then you've got this knob here that you can turn, this plastic piece, so then it locks it in place. All right, there you go, look at that, that's pretty cool. I'm feeling like a scientist right about now. Let me actually just tighten this a little bit more, so I think that should be good to go. And then you've got this knob, very smooth mechanism, the up and down. Next up, we're going to get the USB plug with the camera, and I am going to cut the bag open. And then this looks like goes in, let me, let me actually tighten the knob. Okay, so then this will lock it in place. And then here you go. So then you could decide how close you want it to move up and down with this knob here. And then you could turn this side to side. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. Nice, very nice. And next up, we'll go ahead and put the software in, plug it, and we'll start using it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and I will have video as well as my screenshot so you get a, a feel for both. So here's the program. I moved it back off the CD onto my desktop. So I'm gonna click on it and you've got a lot of options now. It is on. As you can see, I put my finger underneath there. You can adjust this, so depending upon the item, so you can make sure it's correct and not on an angle. And then you've got multiple options here. You could set the capture file, the folder where you want it to go to. So I have an Opti OptiTech um, folder. I'm just gonna delete this and remove this. So we'll start fresh. Then you have, you can allocate file size so you can choose that and then also the same thing save capture video and you could choose another folder if you want and then you've got devices in here for the microphone you could choose what microphone you want to use you've got options you have preview mpeg video capture filter pin you've got star capture for the video and some other information here you can adjust the quality of the compression windows there's a, a lot of different options here and as you have an opportunity to use the microscope you'll be able to 
choose the options that fit best for you. But let's start with a photo first. And before we do, show you a few things here. This button here is for pressing and taking a photo screenshot or I believe shooting on the video as well. This is for brightness, as you can see uh, on the screen there, it will adjust the brightness. And then lastly, this knob here will adjust the focus. So next up, let's go ahead and we'll start with a $20 bill and we'll really get and zoom in here. Look at, look at that. Wow. Holy cow. Now I have this really zoomed in so we can really get down to the nitty gritty with this microscope. Let's see. Look at that detail. Wow. This thing really zooms in. Holy cow. That is really cool. So again, you can adjust this so it, so it's correct. There you go. And then we'll go to the 20. Look at, look at the detail on that 20. It looks gold, but then when you get close up, it's, it's got, it looks like multiple colors. Very, very cool. So let's back out of this a little bit so we can get a cool shot of the 20. And we'll take some other photos as well. Let me actually bend the 20 to see if it will stay. And we'll take a photo of that. Actually, I'll hold it down. So I'm going to do press the button. Let's see if I got I'm doing this correctly. I'm just going to raise this a little bit higher. Zoom in again. And the clarity and focus is perfect. I'm going to press the button. And it actually it didn't go into the folder here. It's actually on my desktop that file. So what I need to do is actually would set the capture file to make sure it would come into the Opti tech and capture the file size so you can adjust that. So if you want to specifically make sure it's going into that folder, now it just went into the folder as, I don't get it. So the file is on my desktop and you should be able to put it into the, the folder if you need, you could drop and drag it. So I put it in there, here it is, let me delete this. And you could then zoom in. So I'm still learning all the features, but the idea here is you'll be able to uh, see the clarity of what this microscope can do. Now, if I want to video this, you click on capture and you would say start capture. So click OK to start capture video and it would then pick that folder, click OK. So if you're moving it, around and you want to just look back at the detail you can and then come to capture stop capture and we can go into the folder here and here is the video move this up here and it should play back there we go and if you needed to use audio as well you can use audio as well. So very cool what you can do here. So let's play with this a little bit. I'm gonna add some of the attachments here. We got these different attachments, by the way, as I had shown in the, the bag. So we've got uh, this black one here. We've got this one here, which is a mirror. Got a mirror on it. And then got this clear one and then we have a long tube so let's just let's put the black the black one in first and then let me close this out oh look at that that's pretty cool so you can really you can really zoom into a very specific thing if you have you really need to know about that one little section how cool is that Very, very cool. Look at that. Next, we'll try. Let's put on this clear one. And let's zoom back in. So again, depending upon an area that you want to get real close on. So you can do that. And then lastly, the tube, which we probably have to... Let me take the tube out. And let's see what this one will do. Again, you have 
if you need a very specific area you can use that tube and then you can actually adjust it that's kind of cool as well and then you could you could uh, just adjust the angle of the camera so you, you make sure that the item is straight here we go let me see if I can here we go punch this back up So you really can get in there with the quality. Unbelievable. That is amazing. I'm going to grab a watch. Actually, you know what? This will be great to do a test with. I've got these beautiful stones here on this bracelet. Let me tighten this. Let's zoom in on these stones. So let me go down. We'll get real close to these stones. Let me adjust the... Look at the clarity of that. And this is the blue one. You can really see the detail. And actually I'm going to zoom in even further. Let's see how well the focus works zooming that close in. So it might be a little, uh, let's see, it might be a little close for comfort there. Let me back, I'm gonna have to zoom up a little bit or go up a little bit, there we go. So now let me, let me adjust in there. So that's that color. Well, uh, let me try one more color. And that almost looks like it's clear. Here, this is kind of cool. Let's try this color. Ooh, look at the detail on that. Let's see if I zoom in a little bit and see how it picks up with this stone. If I can get the same, it looks like I might have to. Oh, actually, you can. Look at that. Very cool. So next up, I want to try a watch real quick. So I have here this really nice looking watch. And let's look at the detail on this watch. Look at that detail. So you're obviously going to have the reflection depending upon the material, I guess. Let me just turn this the right way. Let me let me go up a little bit. Let's zoom in a little bit. There we go. Look at the clarity. That's beautiful. So let me get a little closer. And let me refocus. And we'll look at this red. Look their logo. That's pretty cool. Look at that detail. It really picks up. And then again, if I want to take a photo, I need a photo of that. I can just press the button. And it took it, it now it landed in the OptiTech because I must have moved the other file over and there is that photo. And again, you you'll be able to adjust things. So, one last thing I'm going to do is just put my hand under the microscope. Let's let's zoom in to the detail of with the of my hand and skin. And let's just see, let's just even use this clear one here. There we go. Let me adjust. Let's see if we can get this focused in enough on this, on my hand. Because I need to readjust it the other way. There we go, I think that might work. OK, 
God, that's look at that. That's my that's my hand. Very cool. Just gives you a perspective. One, how powerful it is, but the detail of our bodies. Let me try and see if I can zoom that in. I'm going to see if I can brighten it. Let me make that a little brighter. There we go. That's better. Look at that detail. That is awesome. So all in all, this is really a powerful microscope, and it's a lot of fun, a lot of configuration. This video will hopefully give you an idea of the power of this product and if you have any questions do let me know and uh, I definitely think this is a five-star product it's really well made you can really have a lot of fun great for kids uh, for work experiments you have something you really need to get a close look at this is definitely a really really cool way to go and I remember as a kid using a microscope and now to think uh, how you can connect it to your computer and really zoom in and save the photos and shoot videos with it Awesome, awesome stuff. So great job, Matt. Love the product and uh, highly recommend it. Five stars all the way. All right, everybody, have a great day. Hope this was of help.